Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm back again with another coding interview problem video guys and the problem statement of this video is intersection of two arrays. Guys, this is a top interview question in lead code. It has been asked in multiple companies. It is an easy level question and today we are going to solve it right here in this video. So guys, if you like my content, you want to prepare for your coding interviews with me, then please, please, please do subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon for further notifications and also do not forget to like this video and share this with your friends as well. Now guys, without wasting any time further, let's get started. So the first thing we should start is reading the problem statement. And the problem statement is pretty simple guys. We have got these two arrays here, nums1 and nums2. We basically have to return an intersection of this uh, of both these arrays, right? So you basically you can see that uh, in this array 2 is appearing 2 times and in the second array also 2 is appearing 2 times. So my output is 1 array containing 2 values of 2. But in the second example you can see that in my nums1 array I've got 4, 9 and 5 and in the nums2 array I've got 9 also appearing twice, 4 also appearing twice. But because the occurrence of 4 and 9 in the first array is only one time, that is why our output is not having double 4 and double 9. It is only having single 4 and single 9. So guys, that's the trick here that you not only have to make sure that the common elements are returned, even if the common elements are appearing multiple number of times in both the arrays, then you have to match their occurrence frequency as well. So most of the time guys, whenever we see a you know, term like intersection or union, then we tend to go for using hash sets uh, because we have uh, uh, these uh, union and intersection methods in hash set. But guys, we cannot really use set here because as you guys know, the property of a set is that you can only have unique elements. But in this case, we cannot use set because we do not just have to return the unique elements, but if there are multiple occurrences of that element, we have to return all the occurrences. So guys, I'll tell you the easiest ways to solve this problem. And it could be a pretty obvious to some of you all, but for some of you, it could be a new learning. But before providing you that solution, let me go through the constraints here. And there is a very important constraint here, guys, that the length of both the arrays is varying from 1 to 1000. So, guys, and, and also the values of both the arrows is from 0 to 1000. So, guys, that's an important constraint to know. So, if the length of both the arrays would have been varying from 1 to 10 to the power 5 or 3 into 10 to the power 4, that would mean that you really, really have to take care of the time complexity here. But in this case, guys, you do not really have to worry about running multiple loops or creating new data structures. Why? Because our array length is only from 1 to 1000. So you, even if you have got like a little bit higher uh, time complexity, you won't really have to worry. Your solution still might work because the array length is really limited. However, still guys, uh, we, we do have a very optimal solution for that and I will try to explain that solution right here in this coding section. There are another follow-up questions here guys uh, if you want to go through them I will definitely go through them right now. So the first thing is they have given some hints that if an array is sorted how will you solve this problem if one of the array is smaller than the other array which algorithm is better and what if some of the elements are stored on the disk the memory is limited and you cannot load all the elements into memory at once basically guys these are some follow-up questions they could be asked in your interview but definitely if you are only solving this problem in a coding uh, environment like codility or hacker rank you won't be given this follow-up question so this part won't be visible to you only the question and the constraint will be visible to you and you just have to solve the question. Because guys, these follow-up questions kind you give you a hint. So definitely in your interview, you won't be given any hints. Uh, but I guess uh, you already got the hint that uh, what if an array is sorted? 
how we can optimize this so definitely guys we can use sorting as a sort of way to solve this issue and actually sorting helps you to optimize this solution a lot so i'm going to use the sorting method here so the first thing we will do guys is we will simply sort these two arrays nums1 and nums2 and guys uh, you all might know that the most optimal sorting algorithm which is mostly used in these uh, utility functions is the quick sort which is having like a time complexity of order of n log n and generally it is order of n log n so uh, it's not like you are using bubble sort or any other highly complex sort in which your complexity goes up to be n square okay so let's go further so you have now sorted the two arrays both the arrays are sorted what we will now create is few indexes so index i equals to 0 and int j equals to 0 and int k equals to 0 what these indexes are guys these indexes are for iterating these two arrays so we will simply make sure that i is used to iterate array nums1 so until i is less than nums1 dot length and until j is less than nums2 dot length so this while loop will simply run until one of the array is completely iterated and now we will simply check guys that if the ith element of nums1 array is less than the jth element of nums2 array nums1 and nums2 we will simply compare if this array is if if nums i uh, if the ith element of the first array is less than the jth element of the second array if that is the situation we will simply increment the uh, we will simply increment the the first array if if the condition is reversed that means if the jth element of nums2 array is less than the ith element of nums1 array we will simply increment j and else that means if both the values are equal to each other what we will do guys we will simply increment both the indexes and we will also uh, put this element into a uh, array or in our case we will simply create a result array list and now we will simply put this solution result dot add nums one i okay so guys basically what will happen once this while uh, loop will be completed then the shorter array that means if nums one length is less than nums two length then nums one will be completed or in other case the uh, nums2 array will be completely iterated once we have iterated the whole array guys this basically uh, this result array list will be containing the intersection elements okay well as you can see guys we are not returning here an array list we are basically returning here an array so what we will simply do here we will uh, create our result array equals to new int and just pass here the result size that means our array list size and for integer okay we can't uh, we can simply uh, from 0 to i less than result dot size and i plus plus and simply result array i becomes equals to result dot get i okay and in the end you can simply return the result array and this result array is now containing all the intersection elements so let's run this code guys and let's see if this works or not so now you can see guys that this code is pretty much working amazingly and let's submit this code now and you can see that my submission result is judging and it is accepted guys so basically guys this is one of the most optimal solution for this kind of problem whenever you see such kind of problem and you know that the time complexity could uh, be you know 
mitigated because uh, because the array size is less then you can definitely go for utility functions like sorting create another data structure and you can solve this problem in a much more optimized way i hope guys this solution is clear to you and you are you know better prepared for your coding interview please do leave in the comment section all your questions and your feedback for my videos and guys thank you so much for watching please do not forget to subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon and do like and share the video as well and uh, until next time thank you so much guys bye bye